Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at how to play a game about the adorable lazy egg Gudutama. Gudutama, the tricky egg card game, was designed by Steve Ellis and Ben Eisner with artwork by Wook Jin Clark. It is published by Renegade Game Studios. If you're not familiar with Gudutama, Gudutama is the lazy egg found in the Sanrio webcomics. Yes, the same Sanrio known for Hello Kitty and other quirky animated characters. The game is a competitive card game for 2-7 players that plays in around 20 minutes. We have found most players can understand this quick-to-learn game, starting at about age 6. The game is based on the mechanics of a similar set of Northern European card games called Cucumber. To set up the game, shuffle all 63 cards, then deal 7 cards to each player. Set the remaining cards to the side. They will not be used in this round of play, but you will need them next round, assuming the game keeps going. You can choose your first player by any method you prefer. In each round, players will play seven tricks by playing a single card from hand. After each trick, the player who took the previous trick will lead for the next round until all seven cards have been played. Once all seven tricks have been played, players will tally their score, shuffle the cards, and prepare for a new round by shuffling all the cards, except scored cards, and dealing seven new cards to each player. Let's take a look at how each turn will go. First, the lead player may play any card from their hand. Following in clockwise turn order around the table, players will have two choices of what card to play next. They might either play a card with an equal or higher value than the highest value card played so far, or they must play their lowest value card. Notice that I said may for an equal or higher value, while playing the lowest value card means you must play your lowest. Let's take a look at an example. In this case, if I were to play a 10, the next player has a choice of playing an 11, a 13, or 3. If they choose to play their 11, the third player can no longer play their 10, and must now play an 11 or their 1. Whoever played the highest value card on the last trick of that round will take the trick and lead the next turn. The main exception to this rule is printed on the card. Whoever plays a 14 card and wins the trick chooses any other player to lead the next round. Additionally, the one card does not change which player takes the lead in the next round. In the case of a tie, whoever played the last highest card will either go first in the next turn, or in the case of the 14, they will determine the next start player. Play continues in this manner for the round until all seven tricks have been taken. The last trick will score for the player who won it. However, players do not want to score points in this game. The player will take the card that they used to win the trick and leave it face up in front of their player so that everyone may see the points. If anyone was able to play one card on the final trick, all players will score the card that they played on the final trick of that round. Play will continue in this manner with rounds of seven tricks until any player has reached a score equaling or exceeding 21 points. Players will compare total points and the player with the lowest score wins. In the case of a tie, all tied players will play an additional round to determine the winner. Keep eliminating a player every round until there is one clear winner of the game. You've just learned how to play Gudutama, the Tricky Egg Card Game. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would enjoy hearing about your experience playing in the comments. Please subscribe so that we can keep creating content like this. Happy gaming!